Hi everyone, I'm Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I'm going to talk about something that is uh, very important and it's about being in a relationship with the Heavenly Father. And I'll just share with you some of the things that the Lord actually told me about um, us Christians, believers, born-again believers actually having a relationship with Him. And this is what He said. We must have a relationship with Him to enter into His kingdom. The only way to the Father, the only way basically to get to that relationship with the Father is to go through the Son. No man can get to the Father unless they go through, through the Son, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And the scripture talks about in John 3.16 that the Father, God the Father actually sent His Son. He sent the Lord Jesus to the earth so that people wouldn't perish, so that we actually could have a relationship with the Heavenly Father to get access to the Kingdom of God. When we come to, um, we enter into the covenant through the Lord Jesus, a lot of Christians, we just stay there with the Lord Jesus. We learn everything about the Lord Jesus, but we don't go the, the extra mile or to the next step to learn about the Father. Who is God the Father? You know, how can I have a relationship with Him? You know, how can I communicate with Him? How can I get to know Him and actually walk with Him also in this earth? So, but the Lord did tell me that it's really important for us as Christians to get to know Him also and have a relationship with Him because without that relationship with the Father, we can't get into His kingdom. The cool thing about the Lord Jesus is that His walk with the Father actually shows us what a relationship with the Heavenly Father looks like. Um, Jesus, everything that the Lord Jesus did, He did it with the Father. Him and the Father was one. They were all one accord. The Lord Jesus said uh, that I only speak what I hear the Father say and I only do what I see the Father do. So He was on one accord with the Father. Him and the Father had a very close relationship. They were one. The Heavenly Father wants to be one with us also. You know, through His Son, He wants us to be one with Him also, the same way the Lord Jesus was one with Him and walked with Him in this earth. It's walking with God, it's being co-laborers with Him, it's being a part of His will that is in this earth, um, it's sacrificing our will. If you look in the garden before the Lord Jesus was going to the cross, He actually did have a will. He had a will, but He did say, not my will, but thy will be done. He was telling the Heavenly Father that He did have a will, but He was going to push His will aside to do the will of the Father. Why would we uh, sacrifice our own will for God's will? And so I'm going to share with you some of the things that the Lord has revealed to me about His will. Just so you can see, His will is so good. Like, even if you sacrifice everything that you ever wanted to do, on this earth and you ask God for His will and you just do His will. I'm telling you, your life, you will be the most happiest. Your life will be so perfect. Your life will be so good and pure just by doing His will because His will is so perfectly pure. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that the Lord has revealed to me um, about His will for my life and situations that I actually encounter. Okay, so I am going to share a list of things with you that, um, that I have written down that the Lord has spoken to me. And basically, it's my new lifestyle now because 
he has revealed his will um, to me about certain situations that I was in, um, bad situations, different situations, when I was stressed out, things that he has said to me that um, is his will for me and that situation and really um, this world. So I'm going to share that list with you and also I'm going to um, attach a PDF if you want to download it and what you can do there's a checklist uh, of his will that you can apply to your daily life. So I'll go ahead and share with you what he revealed to me. Okay number one the first thing about God that I have uh, known uh, about his will and who he is he is so 100% focused on helping others. He is so focused on helping others that whenever you walk with him and I've been walking with him, he wants us also to focus on helping others. And that's one of the things that I have known about him and his heart is always on helping someone else. And when you think about it, you read the scripture, uh, there's a specific law about helping others, about giving, you know, um, doing something for someone else. You know, you actually receive. There's a specific law about that. You receive and whatever you give out, you get. If you judge, you get judged. You know, if you don't forgive people, you're not going to get forgiven. It's, it's certain things that, you know, the way you are with others, it comes back upon you. And so the Lord is so focused on um, teaching us, teaching me, um, since I've been walking with him, is to focus on helping others too. Now, the second one, um, one of the things, the second one, I'll, this is my little list, and um, one of the cool things I have learned about the Lord is that He has told me and uh, to focus on other people's desires. And so I remember the first time He told me that I wasn't focused on, you know, other people's desires. And so I was like, Lord, you know, um, what do you mean? And so he started sharing with me that he wanted me to focus on someone else's desires. What are they? What do they desire? So I said, okay, let me try to test this out, Lord. I want to apply this to my life, so let me go try to do it. So what I did, I went to a park one day. And so I went there and I was like, Lord, okay, I would like for you to tell me different people I saw. I asked the Lord, what, what were their desires? And so this man came and sat beside me. And so... I asked the Lord, right when he sat beside me, I said, Lord, what is his desire? And I heard the Lord say that he wants peace. He wants peace. And so what I did, I just started talking to the guy. I said, hey, you know, I'm doing this new thing that I'm, I'm going out, um, you know, wanting to know what a person desires. And I just have a question for you. What are, what are your desires? What's something that you desire? And he just went, I mean, I mean, he just went on was like, well, my ex-wife, she, I want her to get a job. You know, she's all over me. She's stressing me out, this and that, this and that. And so he just went in. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to start <laughs> saying all this stuff. So I said, okay, so what you're saying is um, ultimately you want peace? He said, yes, I want peace. Because his ex-wife, she didn't have a, a job and he was uh, raising the child. And so she was always on him trying to get money, stressing him out, doing all of this stuff. Just turning his whole life upside down. So he wanted her to get a job so that he can have that peace. And so when he told me that, I was like, oh Lord, you are so on point. That's what he wanted was peace and that was his desire. And so I got the opportunity to, to minister to him in a need that he had and I remember praying for his uh, ex-wife to get a job so that you know that's basically <laughs> would bring more peace to his life so this is something that you can actually apply to your life you know if you're at the grocery store like I used to do I would just go in the grocery store get what I needed and got out I didn't really focus on the people there I mean you know I was just in my own little world but when you go out in public you can ask the Lord what is that person's desire you can even not go up to the person and say you know, is there something that, you know, you're really struggling, like a desire that you have, um, something that you um, may want prayer for, for that desire? And just see what it is and minister to that person in their need, their desire. Now, this is another thing that is God's will, is his heart. Um, like I was telling you, his heart is so good. His will is so perfect. 
you know, um, if we're doing his will, trust me, this type of stuff that we will start doing if we're walking in God's will and doing what he desires, I mean, our life will just be so changed and other people's life will be changed also. This is another thing that the Lord has um, <laughs> is, uh, been, you know, uh, telling me is that whenever we had our ministry team and I would just get so frustrated with the ministry team because some you know some of the things I was teaching them I had been teaching them for a long long time like years and it was just like nothing wasn't getting through and so I would just get frustrated and you know I would just say Lord what's going on are they serious you know and so the Lord would tell me like if I would respond to them in a negative way you know the Lord would tell me that I was too harsh the way I spoke to them was too harsh and he wanted me to be gentle in my words he didn't want me to be harsh with his people Woo! and just speaking to them from a bad place from a place of anger from a place of frustration the Lord does not even want us to speak to his people from that bad place so to be gentle with them when you're speaking to them to be gentle with them to respect them uh, with your words and to honor them with your words that is God's heart so when he told me that to be not to be harsh to be gentle try not to speak to them from a, a bad place try to calm myself down do whatever I got to do to get whatever out of my heart towards them then speak to him speak to them so it will be coming from a, a good place and I can be gentle I can do it in love um, you know and but it's coming from a good place this is God's will this is a part of his heart and so when he said that to me um, I started trying to apply that all these things that I'm going to share with you I, I apply these things to my life because he shared uh, his heart and what he desired uh, his will was now here's another thing that is God's will that he actually tells me all the time this is one of the well, there's a few that he tells me all the time and I'm you know I apply it I apply it sometimes I may not be able to apply it fast enough and I need God to help me but this one is think positive think positive focus on positive things you know this is something that the Lord is constantly telling me this because I may be in a situation something may come up negative thoughts the enemy is planning negative thoughts constantly about um, situations you know um, my body my health uh, my family relationships you know so many different things and so what I have to do I have to take those negative thoughts and remove them quickly and start focusing on positive start focusing on um, something positive and so that is God's heart think about it I mean he wants us to focus on positive things I mean that's totally good you know like I'm saying his will is a, everything I'm going to share with you his will is a hundred percent good every single thing that he has told me is so perfect it's so pure it's like Lord I want to be like you I want to be like this I want to apply this to my life because this is something that makes my life better and other people around me so um, but you can apply that to your life also just start replacing those negative thoughts with something positive Hi, so the next one is still in the same uh, category as focus. The Lord is really, really, um, he cares about what we focus on because focusing on something is so important. And I'll tell you the next one, uh, he basically tells me this every day uh, to focus on him. Uh, this is the next thing that is his heart. And the reason why um, focusing on God is so good is that when we focus on him, what he revealed to me is when we focus on him, let's say if the enemy is trying to attack you in a certain area let's say he's trying to attack you when you shift your focus and you're just focusing on the Lord the enemy cannot attack you during that time while you're focusing on the Lord he can't attack you now if you shift your focus and you start focusing on something evil something negative you're on the enemy's enemy's territory because you're focusing on demonic things you're not focusing on God so constantly the Lord is always telling me try to focus on me as much as possible during your day so I'm like okay Lord I need you to help me focus on you as much you know uh, as much as I possibly can during a day because there's so many distractions so many things you have to do during the day and your focus goes to those things you know um, but you know um, if if it's negative things you need to try to get that back on the Lord if you have a job you know and um, but you can still try to include the Lord even in the things that you're doing 
um, in your job because that will still help you focus on him too while you're doing things but that's his heart he wants us to focus on him and like I was saying um, the reason is he wants to protect us and he knows that uh, when we focus on him um, the enemy can't touch us at that time okay so that's another one of God's wills now this one right here is another thing that the Lord tells me almost every day um, basically I would say every day you know multiple times a day he says relax relax his will is for us to relax. He doesn't want us to be all, you know, like tensed up and stressed out and, and, and just going, 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 having this busy, wild, crazy, chaotic life. He wants us to relax. That's what peace is about. Peace is being relaxed. Peace is being calm. You know, I have a teaching. Um, I'll post it. But I have a teaching about peace, how the Lord actually told me. I'm going to re... I'm going to... um redo it because it's an audio I'm going back and taking all of my audio teachings and redoing them and making them uh, video teachings like this and so but the Lord shares that whenever his peace comes in everything calms down and all demonic emotions leave so okay so relaxing he wants us to relax he wants us to be calm he wants us to be at peace in every kind of situation so that's another thing that's another one of his wills is for us me and you to be relaxed okay so here's the fun one I am actually gonna do a whole video on this one um, because the Lord is opening up my eyes I'm seeing revelations new stuff that he's revealing to me about this one but another um, another one of God's um, wills is for us to give giving is very important to god and like i said it's a law like these things we don't understand why the lord wants us to do these things but there's something actually happening in the spiritual realm when we do it when he tells us to do something it's something actually happening in the spiritual realm whether we are being protected from the enemy attacking us whether our finances is being uh, protected whether our relationships are being protected whether something is being removed broken off of us is something actually happening when the Lord tells you to do something there's something on the other end of it the reason why he's telling you maybe he's trying to get a blessing to you he's trying to get something to you or maybe he's trying to remove something from you remove an attack remove an illegal right um, remove sin whatever it is um, there's always a purpose whenever the Lord tells us to do something Giving is the same exact way. And so that is a part of his heart because he is a giver. He gives to us and he wants us to also give. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole teaching on it. And I'm going to link it here once I get it done. Hopefully I'll do it this week and um, share with you guys about giving. I mean, it's a very powerful um, teaching. Okay, so here's another one of God's, uh, his will. His will is for us to love people. I mean, he, his heart is all about loving people. He loves people that don't even love him. You know, he is all about loving other people. And he desires for us to love people too. No matter how evil they are, no matter if they love us. You know, that's his focus. That's his heart. And he's constantly, you know, um, wanting me to actually love people. And I have to pray and ask him to give me that love to be able to do it. Because, you know, I have minimum, you know, my love natural human love you know it's conditional but when the Lord gives me his love I can do it you know I can love someone that's you know uh, treating me really really bad like the Lord Jesus when he was on the cross you know he was able to love the people with uh, God's love the Father's love because he was able to forgive them even though they were killing him and they had tortured him you know think about that you know, that's, that's some serious type of love. But ask the Lord for that type of love because he wants us uh, to love others. Actually, that's one of the commandments. Um, that's um, one of the greatest two commandments uh, there is. So love, God's will is for us to love people. Okay, so another one of God's will. Um, this is basically, uh, I mean, it's in with everything. Like I said, God's heart is for helping other people. He desires for us to do everything that whatever a person's need is. If they need prayer, if they need encouragement, if they are struggling financially and they have a bill that needs to be paid, the Lord wants us to help them. You know, that's his heart. He's blessing you for a purpose, to help someone else. 
And so one of the things that he actually told me specifically, he said for me to uh, minister to the people's need, whatever their need is, minister to it, whatever it is, you know. And that's a lot, you know, especially if you have a lot of people around you and, you know, they all have different needs. But that is God's heart for us to minister to their needs, whatever need it is. And another thing that the Lord also um, told me a while back is that for me to give to uh, everyone that has a need, for me to give to them. And so I started doing uh, Periscope videos. I started doing impartations, activating gifts, releasing everything that I had inside of me to the people you know because he said give everything and so I started doing that and I mean it was pretty awesome I mean the Lord was like blessing me with more and more and more spiritual uh, blessings because that's what I was giving out to the people and but like I said um, there's a reason when he's asking us to do all of these things he wants us to be blessed and he wants others to be blessed so his will I'm telling you is a hundred percent good it's a hundred percent perfect I mean you know if we are sacrificing our will for God's will your life will be so blessed. Your life will be so, you will be filled with joy and peace and love for others. And all the people around you will be blessed. Because you will be ministering and helping them and giving to them and loving on them. And, you know, and, and they're going to be happy, you know, because you're blessing them also. So, uh, us sac sacrificing our will for God's will, I mean, it's like the best thing that we can possibly do. I mean, we're going to enjoy our life way more better. And the thing about it is that the Lord Jesus did talk about it. You know, those who want to save their lives, we want to save our life, which is our, our will, basically, everything we want to do. You know, we're going to lose it. We're going to be depressed. We're going to be miserable. You know, a lot of negative things. We're not going to have a great life, you know. But when we sacrifice that, we sacrifice our life. We live. You know, our life is actually good. We have a, a, a great life that we actually enjoy living. It's abundant life. You know, and this is what the Lord Jesus came to give us. With the Father, we can have this great life. We can have uh, a peaceful life, a truly happy and loving life with God, walking with Him. Okay, so there's one more thing I do want to share with you guys about God's will. And this is something that's really, really, um, it's really, really great to know that the Lord is really, really like, Oh, so merciful, so merciful and so loving uh, to us, even when we don't deserve it. One of the things that the Lord has uh, told me, whenever I am seeing someone actually, um, you know, act demonic or whatever, you know, um, he said this to me uh, a few times, is to don't focus on their actions, focus on their heart. And so I remember the first time he told me that, I said, Lord, you know, I can't see their heart. I don't know if they have a good heart or not. You know, how am I going to focus on their heart? <laughs> you know, and so I said, Lord, help me see their heart. Show me their heart. And so he showed me the person's heart and he told me that the person had a good heart. They were just being controlled by demons. And a lot of times that's, that's what happens whenever we are snapping or flipping out. Like if we go out and we sin, you know, we, someone makes us mad and we react, we cuss them out. We're sinning too. It's not just them. We're both in the wrong. So what's happening is demonic spirits are controlling that situation. They're controlling the person that's flipping out on you. And then they get on you or they manifest and they control you. Now you're flipping out and you're a born again believer. You know? And people will attack you. They'll say, oh, I thought you were a Christian. You're acting worse than this person. But the thing about it is that the demonic spirits are controlling the situation. You can have the best heart. And God sees that heart. He sees that. He knows that, you know, those spirits are controlling you. And so that is what he told me um, to do with people. When they're acting out, they're, you know, being controlled by these demons. I don't need to focus on that part because I'll be focusing on the demons. But... What I need to do is look past that. Focus on the person's heart. You know, it may be only one little tiny good thing in there. But try to focus on that. And so that is God's heart. He doesn't want His people. Now everything I'm telling you is stuff that He is telling me for my life, for me to apply it. It's His will. And my will may be something totally different. I may not want to focus on the person's heart. I may just want to focus on how they're treating me. 
If they're not treating me the way I want to be treated, I may just want to want to, I may just want to focus on that, and you know, and and react to the person um, because of the way they're reacting to me. But when I hear God's will, and for me not to focus on that, to focus on the person's heart and that they actually have a good heart, you know, that's something better for me to do. Because if I'm just focusing on the negative, and then I am going to be negative, I'm going to receive negative, I'm going to feel hurt. I'm going to be offended. You know, there's a lot of things. I'm going to get angry. There's a lot of negative things that's going to come upon me when I focus on the negative. And so God's way of doing it is better for me. I mean, I get to just focus on positive things all the time. And my life becomes positive. And my heart stays pure because I'm not letting demonic uh, things get in there. And so also it's good for the person because I'm not flipping out on them. I'm not, you know, snapping, you know. So um, all around, it's a better, pure, um, you know, way to do things is to apply what God uh, wants to our life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is really, really special because this is God. This is His will. Like I said, His will is perfect. His will is good. If you, desire, if you desire to sacrifice everything for God, like the Lord Jesus did, your life will be great. I promise you. I promise you because everything that He will ask you to do or share you that, you know, share to you that's His heart, it will make your life so much more freer. Um, you will prosper. You will walk in love in everything you do because everything the Lord says Everything that has to do with his will is wrapped and totally clothed in love. So that is what you will be walking in. That's the perfect life. Walking in love, that's the perfect life. We can't get no better than that. Love is what it's all about. Nothing else is more greater. It doesn't matter how many gifts you, you know, have. You can see dead people, you know, waking up and, you know, you can see limbs growing back. All of this stuff, you can see all these signs and wonders. But it's all about the love. That's what it's all about. Me and you walking in the love. And the Lord will help us do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this teaching about God's will. God bless.